get All it right. started. Let's start. You guys familiar with Inner City Weekly? No? We're full-time subscribers. That's right. A lot of shit happening in the hood. A lot. We read in Inner City Weekly, one out of three black dudes get arrested or shot before they turn 32. We just turned 31. <laughs> it's getting close. <laughs> Fortunately enough, we got a younger brother that just turned 21. That's right. So for the last year, we've been trying to get that dude shot. That's right. <laughs> it's either him or us. That's right. <laughs> also read in the Inner City Weekly, that the city that we're from, Newark, is the third most dangerous city in America. Shameful. Embarrassed. Shameful, shameful, embarrassed, and sad. Kind of sad. Really sad, you know what I mean? Because we thought we were going to get that number one ranking this That's year. Right. <laughs> we put up some great numbers. That's right. <laughs> Disappointed, man. So sad. So as Newark legends, we had to go back to the hood to motivate people. That's right, give some speeches. We walked around the city and were like, yo, y'all gotta step y'all game up. We can't keep losing to Detroit and Chicago. Not like this. We can do better. If you see a white couple sitting alone in their car by themselves, rob them motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> Don't think twice. We study philosophy, mm -hmm. you know? And it wasn't many black people studying philosophy. It was three of us. Only the other dude was Troy. Yep. And he was a masterful philosopher. I mean, one of the best. One of the best. I mean, there was this one class we took. It was uh, epistemology. Mm-hmm. I mean, he just... And we used to get into these vigorous debates. It's the rationalist versus the empiricist. And, you know, the empiricist thought you can only gain knowledge by experience. Yeah. And the rationalist thought you can only gain knowledge through intuition. Yeah. And as we were raging in the debate, Troy just sat there in contemplation, just like, just thinking, just thinking. And then he raised his hand, and the professor called on him. Troy stood up, and he yeah. asked one of the most profound questions I think we've ever heard. He was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this shit? <laughs> Changed our lives. Changed it. We dropped a major after that. Yeah. We actually got the campaign for Bernie Sanders. Oh, it was yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe not dope. Mm -hmm. It was, a little, it was a, during a precarious time. Yeah. He was getting slaughtered by Hillary. He couldn't get the black vote. So he brought in some black dudes to help him increase the black vote. That's right. And we had to come up with an idea or a strategy. Mm -hmm to bring them in. And a lot of people were throwing out weird stuff like, you know, go on the radio, do the Steve Harvey show, shit yeah, like that. It's too, we too, like, too conventional. Too conventional. You want to get the black vote, you got to think outside the box. That's right. And we came up with something brilliant. Yeah. And we can describe it in one name. Bernie Mac Sanders. <laughs> That's right. Pretty simple concept to grasp. It's Bernie Sanders in blackface Going on tour with the original kings of comedy. Yes. <laughs> Doing classic Bernie Mac bits with a Marxist twist. Marxist twist. <laughs> we even wrote some jokes for him. That's right. Uh, you yeah. want to start? Yeah, I got it. So Bernie Mac Sanders addresses the crowd. Walks to the stage. Greetings. Greetings. Does pussy taste like pumpkin pie? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I ain't never have no pumpkin pie. <laughs> and why haven't I had any pumpkin pie? Because the 1% keeps eating it all. <laughs> <laughs> they banned us from the campaign. That's right. Um, <laughs> they didn't quite agree with our, our jokes. But the joke's on the them. The joke is on them. Because we were double dealing. Damn right we were. We pitched it to Trump and he loved it. He bit. loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.